Hello, my name is Julia and this is Space Daily News Channel. The Korea Pathfinder Lunar Orbiter, also known as Dan Yuri, entered the low lunar orbit in mid-December and has since sent a number of impressive images. The photos were published on the Korea Aerospace Research Institute website. One of the images shows the Tsiolkovsky crater on the back side of the Moon. The diameter of this crater reaches 184 km. Among tens of thousands of lunar craters, Tsiolkovsky is one of the most spectacular. It has high terraces and a clear outer rampart. The bottom of the crater is very dark and there is a lake of frozen black lava inside it, in the center of which a bright spot stands out the central slide, the head of which is 3200 meters. And in this picture is Schrodinger Valley. The valley is a depression about 3015 kilometers long and 8 to 10 kilometers wide. It was formed when the Schrodinger crater emissions fell. This is one of the three valleys diverging from the crater. The probe also images Wichman crater, a small impact crater in the southern part of the ocean of storms on the visible side of the moon. It is no more than 10 km in diameter. The crater is bowl-shaped and very young. This is a Stylard M crater, which is part of the large ancient impact crater Stylard, 120 km in diameter, in the northern hemisphere of the backside of the Moon. The small Stylard M crater is only 24 km in diameter. All of these images were taken with a lunar terrain imager, one of the several scientific instruments about the probe. But the Danuri also has a NASA developed shadow cam camera which is adapted to record reflected light from lunar surfaces allowing it to peer into shadowed craters. This shadow cam image shows the interior of Bruce crater and the red serpentines formed by soil sliding off the crater walls. The shadow cam captured this image just after the new moon. The instrument obtained an image of the crater's surface using the Earth's glow, that is the light reflected from the Earth. The crater Aristarchus was captured in a similar way. In this image, the shadow cast by the central peak of Aristarchus is the result of the Earth's glow, which is because the Earth was 35 degrees above the horizon at that time. The main mission of the Korean orbiter Danuri, launched on August 4, 2022, with the Falcon 9 rocket, will last one year, during which time numerous images and measurements of the lunar surface will be obtained. All this data will be used in the future for planet man and robotic missions to the moon. Space Daily News, like, share and subscribe.